Hey everyone, the theme for this month's Polished Potterheads collab on Instagram was back to Hogwarts, so I figured it was time that I did some more Slytherin Pride nails. So I started by applying a base coat, followed by a silver holographic polish. Normally I would also add a top coat to my nails before moving on to adding nail vinyls, but I completely forgot this time. Luckily none of the polish pulled up with the vinyls, but you'll probably want to add a top coat if you're recreating this. I allowed my base to dry completely before adding two different sized straight vinyls over all but my middle nail. I just alternated between the thick and thin vinyls to add some variety. I then applied a green hollow over the vinyls and quickly removed them before the polish had time to dry. I used a cleanup brush dipped in acetone to remove some of the green polish that ended up on my skin and then moved on to my snake decal. I began by adding a layer of top coat to my silicone mat, but as always, you can also do this design straight on your nails. Once the top coat had dried, I used a detail brush and black acrylic paint to draw a basic outline of a snake with most of its body coiled up. I then added the sorting hat on top of its head to make it look like it was going through the sorting ceremony. I then started adding color to my outline. I used medium green acrylic paint to fill in the snake's head and body, and I used a medium brown as the base color for the sorting hat. For the area around the snake's mouth, I mixed a bit of yellow with white. I used the same color for the visible bits of the snake's underside. I then painted the eyes using white as the base and adding red and black. I finished by placing a white dot toward the middle of each pupil. I used black to outline the mouth, adding a forked tongue with red paint. For the nostrils, I used a darker red and black. I then added some shadowing to the snake's body with a slightly darker green, focusing most of the shadows around the edges. I also used different shades of brown to add highlights and shadows to the sorting hat, and then added a few darker squares to show where the hat has been patched up. I also added black lines pointing in different directions around the edges of the patches. Finally, I used black paint to go back over the outline and fix areas that I had painted over. Once the decal had dried, I gently removed it from my mat and trimmed the edges to better fit my nail. I then applied a layer of top coat to my middle nail and used a silicone stamper to press the decal into the wet top coat. I used a cotton swab dipped in acetone to dissolve the excess polish and sealed the design with a top coat. For the striped nails, I applied the polish in the direction of the stripes to reduce smearing the colors. I hope you all liked this cuter take on Slytherin Pride nails, and be sure to let me know what Hogwarts house you're in in the comments below.